Good day, everyone. I want to use this opportunity to welcome you to Physics Branch of a Mathematics Solution Center. Today, we are going to be looking at a motion under gravity. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please kindly click the subscription button now. Thanks. Okay, motion under gravity. We are going to convert our equations of motion on a straight line to equations of motion under gravity. Okay, the parameters we are going to be changing is what? Distance. Distance we change to height. And if the height is the maximum height reached, we use a capital letter H. Acceleration will be changed to what? Acceleration under gravity. This acceleration under gravity has a constant value approximately equal to what? 10 meter per second square. So depending on what the question says, if the question says it's a 9.8 meter per second square, use 9.8. And if nothing given, you can take it as 10 for convenience and 9.81 or 92, whatever you want to take it to be. Okay, these are the only two things we are going to be changing in our equations of motion on a straight line. And let's write the equations of motion on a straight line and convert them to the corresponding equations of motion under gravity. I have V is equal to U plus 80. Therefore, under gravity, we will change the A to what? G. GT now. V is equal to what? U plus GT. Now, the next equation is what? S is equal to UT plus half AT square. Our S has been changed to what? H. Then it's going to be what? H is equal to U plus half GT squared. So this is the second equation. Equation 1, equation 2. And then the third equation is what? V squared is equal to U squared plus what? 2AS. Then we change it to what? 2GH. So these are the three equations of motion under gravity. The difference between these equations of motion and the equations of motion for a linear motion is for the fact that what? Those initial ones is for an object that is moving on a straight line horizontally. It can also be vertical if the object you are talking about has its own acceleration, which is not equal to acceleration of free fall. Maybe the motion of the object is constrained. Maybe by strain, you understand. When you are solving a problem like that, you can still use those equations of motion on a straight line because the object has its own acceleration. Okay, for equations of motion under gravity, the most important thing there is what? Acceleration due to gravity. You have to be very careful with this uh, acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity can be positive and can also be negative. It is negative when the object is moving upward because the object is against what? Um, gravity. But it is positive when the object is moving downward because acceleration due to gravity is supporting gravitational force is supporting the motion of the object when the object is coming down acceleration due to gravity is a constant value that determines the rate at which the velocity of an object decreases upward or is a constant value that determines the rate at which the velocity of an object increases downward take note of that so the summary here is that when an object is moving upward acceleration due to gravity is negative and when an object is coming downward or moving downward falling under gravity freely acceleration due to gravity is what positive now take note of this if an object is dropped from a height initial velocity of this object take it to be zero an object is thrown vertically upward at the maximum height take the final velocity of the object to be zero please take note of these two things the final velocity at the maximum height the object can reach is always what zero that is the final velocity okay we are going to be solving questions on that is question number one is what listen to the question carefully an object is dropped from a height of uh, 50 meters okay let's take a look at this diagram for an object that is gently dropped from a height of a 50 meter so the questions are what Calculate the velocity just before it hits the ground and what? Calculate the time taken before it gets to the ground. Now, before we start, I have told you when an object is gently dropped, take u to be equal to zero. And we have a constant that is not even mentioned. g is equal to what? 10 meter per second square. Okay, take note of that. 
Now you now look at this. I want to calculate velocity. Which of the equations of motion has in these uh, four parameters or three parameters? I have u, v, g. I have h also to be equal to what? 50 meters. So which of the uh, equations of motion under gravity contains u, v, g, and h? Let's try the third equation v square is equal to u squared plus what? 2g h. We want to calculate velocity. <coughs> Initial velocity is zero. We have g and we have h. So this is the appropriate formula to use for this question. So I have v squared final velocity is equal to what? Initial velocity is zero plus two times 10, then times what? 50. Therefore, I have v squared is equal to what? 1000. 2 times 10 times 50. Then I have um, v is equal to square root of 1000. Therefore, so v is equal to 31.6 meter per second. You can verify that with your calculator. The next thing we are calculating is the time it takes the object to get to the ground. We are going to use v is equal to u plus 80. V is equal to U plus GT, and then we can equally use H is equal to UT plus half GT square. Sometimes you still write an uh, acceleration under gravity to be A and an S to be what? And height to be S. There's no problem with that. Once you discover that, you just change your values back or your parameters back, rather. Okay, we are going to use these two equations and see what we are going to get. For the first one, we've calculated the final velocity to be 31.6. So 31.6 is equal to initial velocity 0, then plus 10t. Therefore, I have an, my 10t is equal to 31.6. Divide both sides by 10, by 10. Then we have an t is equal to what? 3.16 seconds. That is the time it will take the object to get to the ground. And let's take a look at them. Um, the second equation, S, H is equal to UT plus half GT square. Okay, the height is 50, right? Is equal to initial velocity 0, then plus half times 10, then T square. This is 50 is equal to what? Half times 10 is 5 T squared. Therefore, I have a divide both side by 5 t square is equal to 10. Take the square root of both sides. t is equal to square root of 10. Therefore, t is equal to 3.16. So provided you know what you are doing, no matter the formula you use, you are still going to get the same answer. We are going to take one more question. Take, for instance, if we have a question that says an object is projected vertically upward with an initial velocity of 50 meter per second. Calculate the maximum height reached by the object and then maybe what is the time taking to get to this maximum height? Okay, these are the two things we want to calculate. Now, for maximum height, we've already concluded that V is equal to what? V is equal to zero at the maximum height. And don't forget, we have our acceleration to be equal to 10 meter per second square always as a constant unless otherwise stated. Okay, V is equal to zero. G is equal to what? 10 meter per second square. We are going to use in this formula v is equal to v square is equal to u square plus 2g h. You can see we have h in this question, we have u in this same question, and at the same time we have v. And our g is there. We want to calculate the maximum height. Therefore, final velocity is 0 is equal to what? Initial velocity, 50 squared. But this, case, this time around, I told you that when an object is going upward, take your acceleration due to gravity. To be what negative this here comes where we apply it 50 squared then minus what 20 h 20 h taking 20 h to the other side we have 20 h is equal to what 50 squared twenty h is equal to two thousand five hundred fifty square is two thousand five hundred divide both side by twenty I have an H is equal to 2, 5 over 20. 
0 will cancel 0. So we are left with what? Our h is equal to what? 1, 2, Five meters. This is the maximum height reached by the object. Now we want to calculate the time taken to get to the maximum height. Use this equation v is equal to u plus g t. How do I know is this equation you I have to use? Just compare your parameters, but don't forget your v is your final velocity is equal to zero at the maximum height. So always carry it along. Then v is there u is there the initial velocity given in fact for the fact that this u is there is a constant is, is a good thing why is it a good thing there because it's one of the condition for what for maximum height and the condition is that what at the maximum height the final velocity is zero so once i put it there it satisfies the condition of maximum height don't forget that and the time i want to calculate is t i want to calculate okay so that's why the formula is appropriate to use Okay, so I will just say 0 is equal to initial velocity is 50 plus minus 10, then t. Why minus 10? Because the object is moving upward in this gravity. Therefore, I have 0 is equal to 50 minus 10t. 10t is equal to 50. Divide both sides by 10. t is equal to 50 divided by 10. Therefore, the object will get to the maximum height under 5 seconds. Thank you for watching. We have come to the end of this tutorial. In case you have any question, please don't forget to drop it in the comment section and watch out for more videos that are still coming your way. But please, you need to stay tuned. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks and remain blessed.